Hi guys! Welcome back to Cup of Teach. This time, we're going to discuss importance of quantitative research across fields. Rational, people do research to find solutions, even tentative ones to problems, in order to improve or enhance way of doing things, to disprove or provide a new hypothesis or simply to find answers to questions or solutions in daily life. In natural and social sciences, quantitative research is the systematic empirical investigation of observable phenomena via the statistical and mathematical techniques. There are different types of quantitative research that are used in various disciplines in the field of science and technology, medicine, business, finance, entrepreneurship, economics, marketing, disaster management, relief operations, and even in the national elections, precise and accurate data is a requirement. In medical field, quantitative research has also many applications in the medical field. In clinical research trial, some common quantitative limits include pathology, cardiology, and physical measurements. Blood levels contain a measurable amount of white and red blood cells and electrolytes. Rather than physically counting each sample, the data collection process is automated using a computer. This increases accuracy and precision of the results and also promotes consistency. In household census, Quantitative research can also be applied in household census, being conducted by the National Statistic Office, NSO, in order to determine the number of residents in every household in the entire Philippines. The findings of this survey could generate a more detailed profile of the Filipino people, which could possibly be used by the government in determining its national budget. In market research, the quantitative approach is also most beneficial in market research to determine customer satisfaction or dissatisfaction. A survey on a customer's preferences of the fast food or restaurant could be a way to determine which among them is the most preferred by public. The same things can be done with some products of different brands by the same category to determine the customer's preferences and marketability of these products. The result of the study will help businessmen and entrepreneurs shape the future's direction of their businesses. In finance, in finance, a comparative study of foreign exchange or forex rates across countries can be made to determine which among these countries has the Southeast economy. In information technology, in the field of information technology, a comparative study of the result of an internet speed test, which are being conducted by the National Telecommunications Commission, NTC, will prove which among the different internet providers in the Philippines has the fastest and most reliable internet connectivity. And education, in education, a quantitative study of the student's academic performance ratings may be a good indicator as to which of the subjects' courses is most liked or disliked by the students. The students' ranking based on their academic performance are also easily accessible through the use of computer software. In disaster management, in disaster management, a quantitative survey of the disaster hit areas whose people are most at risk and most vulnerable can provide government agencies a clearer picture of the extent of damage or damages and the needed funding could be used for the rehabilitation. This and a lot more only proves that in almost every facet of human life, quantitative research is very much evident. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!